From my first days in office, my administration has led with a bold agenda to address the climate crisis and increase energy security at home and around the world. We immediately rejoined the Paris Agreement. We convened major climate summits and reestablished I apologize you ever pulled out of the agreement. We established major economic and major economies forum to spur countries around the world to raise, raise their climate ambitions. Last year at COP26 in Glasgow, the United States helped deliver a critical commitments that will get two thirds of the world's GDP on track to limit warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. Over the past two years, the United States has delivered unprecedented progress at home through a generational investment in upgrading our nation's infrastructure. We're making up our power grid better able to transmit clean energy, expanding public traffic, transit and rail, building nationwide network of electric vehicle charging stations, over 50,000. And this summer, the United States Congress passed and I signed into law my proposal for the biggest, most important climate bill in the history of our country, the Inflation Reduction Act. It includes less than I asked for, but a significant amount, $368 billion to support clean electric, clean electric, electricity. Everything from onshore, offshore wind to, to distributed solar, zero emissions vehicles and sustainable aviation fuels, more efficient electrified buildings, cleaner industrial processes and manufacturing, climate smart agriculture and forestry and more. Look, our Department of Energy estimates that the new law will reduce emissions in the United States by about 1 billion tons in 2030.